Hi everyone, Erica Hila here. Welcome back to Real Feels. Today, I'm gonna give you some of my insight. What am I gonna be sharing with you really? I've had some revelations. Why I've decided to move out of the psychic realm and into the human realm. Stay tuned. Today I'm gonna share some magic with you. Isn't this awesome? Yeah. This is called Peacock Ore. It's really cool and magical and enchanting. This is Pyrite right here. It's also known as Fool's Gold. And this is a tiger's eye, like legit unpolished, like 100%. Like, right? Isn't that so super cool and like magical, right? Okay, and that's another Peacock Ore right here, right? Isn't that awesome? Okay, I know my cuticles are dry. I need to here, whatever. This is a piece of soda light. Isn't that great? but like I just don't I'm not feeling anything to these have I been charging them yes have I cleansed them yes I decided to you know take some time to really go deep within myself and I had some introspection time and you know when they say when you go deep into the garden of magic you'd be surprised what you find when you take a walk along there you know kind of like Alice in Wonderland but without taking magic mushrooms and falling down a rabbit hole I mean the metaphor for falling down the rabbit hole I get it because you're falling down your own rabbit hole you know so like I went down my own rabbit hole and it was kind of sad because like I was kind of disenchanted but at the same time I was like reignited and re-enchanted at the same time it's kind of like leaving one level to go to another one level up and up you know and this leveling up has only helped me understand myself and the world so much <sighs> what have I learned necessarily well coming from a very strong background of growing up in an orthodox Jewish environment to becoming, uh, you know, super spiritual and witch life and, you know, finding that inner psychic and then also getting in touch with crystals. You know, there, there's there been a lot of change for me in a sense where like I'm really understanding more about everything and I kind of feel like I was just told that Santa Claus isn't real. But at the same time, when you realize that Santa Claus isn't real, first of all, even if Santa Claus was real, he's not going to take you on his sleigh ride, people, with his reindeer, okay? It's never going to happen. It's not like in the movies where you get to be like Santa's little helper for the day, okay? Even if he was real, okay? Because he's not doing that. You have not read a blog about that, of like how Santa kidnapped me and took me on his sleigh ride at like five in the morning all around town through Paris and London. And then back in time for breakfast, so it looks like I was just sleeping. Honey, you were on an acid trip or you were dropping shrooms and who knows what? you were on but you were not with santa claus okay let me just tell you because as far as i was concerned you were still in bed all night okay so no no to you okay well let me just tell you okay i'm not telling you the tooth fairy is not real either because she's not real okay let me just tell you okay because no i was lucky if i got a quarter and it's not like my grandparents didn't have the money to put money under my pillow okay or my aunts they were just kind of i was a neglected one really they like just did me the favor of doing me the favor but they never really did me the favor you know what i mean whatever not responsibility to them i grew when i learned i move on i was with my guru you know what always carry like crystal and you know I would always feel like I had to have like you know a lot of jewelry on that was very uh, mystical and you know rooted in like the Sumerian and like all these protection runes and all of these things that now I roll my eyes you notice my own verbal like Ugh, whatever because like I get it but I know I know I still have to fine-tune and bring that down a little bit more and like be more respectful of the fact that that's still there I know I know it's a challenge it's a challenge I know <laughs> But this is the good thing. This is the good thing. This is what I learned. Despite the fact that all of these tools have always helped me, I had my own realization of awakening. Okay, now tune in. I know this sounds really boring, but this has a lot to do with vibration and frequency and understanding of your soul. Now let me back it up a little bit. So I was spiritually raised to believe in spirit guides and angels and ghosts. I still believe that there are fairy energies because I felt them. I've seen them. So I believe that's real. I don't think I created that. Okay, as far as being within this reality. Now, when it comes to ghosts, I feel like that is vibrational energy. When it comes to being psychic, I'm just breaking this down for you, okay? I don't need to go into like a long depth story, okay? We have plenty of things to do with our time. But since you're watching, I'm just gonna break it down so it's super simple for you. Instead of saying I'm psychic, you know, and thinking, oh my gosh, I have these superpowers that everybody has. I have these superpowers that everybody has. The more clean I've become with what I, I consume and how I think and how I feel, the more authentically aligned I am with my purpose. And I'm capable of really understanding more about myself and my environment, right? Instead of saying I'm psychic, I really think about it being more of you know tapping into like a collective you know we are all 
one heartbeat on this planet, right? All collectively feeling, you know, this experience together. When I realized that it's no longer about being psychic and I have these supernatural gifts, but more about me being hyper aware and it is a gift, I will tell you, because not everybody appreciates what they have, right, before them or within them. So you have to appreciate who you are at all, at all being. Now, a lot of people like to focus on religion as a way to guide them in life and to each their own. There is no judgment. That's something that I'm, I know I make comments. That's part of my growth, you know, and learning to not be so reactive in that sense. But it's because I'm on my own path to learning and I expect people to be on the same wavelength. And then when they're not, it's like I fault them for it, but it's not their fault. It's an Aquarian thing I guess. When it comes to the craft I think of it to be more inspirational than it is of a dictation. Although I'm not you know disrespecting any of anyone's belief or any ritualistic practice but what I'm saying that my own perspective on it is when you're doing a ritual let's say you're doing a ritual for love right to draw love to you. You are going to cleanse your space you're going to call forth energies. If you believe in like energy of the east because it represents the air. You are symbolically bringing out that energy of the protectors of the air to come and bear witness. So when you are calling forth the archangels of like the east for like air, you are taking from yourself and you are calling forth the energies of the east. Same with like calling forth the energies of the north of mother earth and the west for water and the south for fire. I have to be balanced just to show you because some people might be OCD who are watching this. Ultimately you are still going outside of yourself but nonetheless all of this energy movement is coming out all for a soul outcome, right? So you're gonna cleanse your space, you're going to call forth the protectors, you're going to give thanks, you're gonna state your intention, you're gonna give thanks again. And all the while, while you're either carving out your candle or you're grinding the herbs or you're wearing the oils or you're doing the dance and you're beating the drum, you're raising your own vibration. Like literally, you are raising your vibration. Look at the hertz scale and where the frequencies go from fear, shame, like very lower vibration vibrations, unhappy, you know, to vibrating in happiness and joy, ecstasy. Like, it's amazing what you can do by really tuning in to you, really, is what it is. So as an outsider looking into this whole practice, in my mind, I was like, okay, let's say I was doing a ritual to, like, help me bring forth the true one that it's supposed to be for me, right? Instead of focusing my energy on doing that, all I did was put out that kind of energy myself. So I would watch myself and say, okay, I'm doing all of this energy work, cleansing, and I'm doing all of the spirit work, where in reality, you could just do the human work yourself by really looking at your mirror reflection not necessarily the mirror but yeah, I mean you can if you want take a look within yourself and recognize the power within you that you have right so if you want to draw forth that person for you you have to put out that vibration that I am ready come to me you know I am coming to you you know what I mean anything that, that resonates with you that now pulls you into that attraction it's all about that mind over matter visualization but also the believing in it coupled with the real energy and that frequency it's not about you believing in God or a higher power even because again then you're looking outside of yourself for authority. Why do you need anybody to tell you how to be, think, or feel? Again that's another controversial topic but hi controversial <laughs> whatever you know I'm not offended. Don't get offended. If you're getting offended well hello welcome to opinion. We all have one. I mean do I believe in a higher power? Not necessarily. I believe in the universe. I believe that we're all connected to like a divine tether collective which is why we are all here but I feel like we're on a playground here together like school right when you go to school you only have like a teacher right that's like supervising you not the metaphorical god but the one person who aligns you and says do this don't do this that's what morals and structure and your own feelings are for that's why you get butterflies in your stomach or you get like uneasy during certain situations because it's your own body vessel telling you beware warning don't do that don't fall in love with this person don't do it don't do it but we think oh my god that means maybe i have to break through no oh, hello this is where like life becoming enchanting comes in okay Okay, because you break through the barriers of believing in something outside of yourself. And then when you start believing in yourself as the creator of your own reality, that's when the magic really becomes magical. That's when you step outside a fairy tale and you become X-Men. You know what I mean? Now, is it beautiful? Yeah. Do I still believe in life with glitter and magic and fairy tales? I believe that everybody has an enchanting life and life is what you make it. You know what I mean? Like I have a green screen here behind me and 
changing the background for me makes it magical when I'm watching this back or when you're watching this, I'm sure, right? Then just a green background. I mean, we can keep it green if you want to. I mean, I can also just, there it is, back to your regular background. Ultimately, it's not even about telling people with, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just, it's all a different level of consciousness and awakening. And I just figured out that for me, that's just, you know, how it is. So like on my social media, I changed, I took off psychic from that. Um, I have to update my website and just become a life coach because that's really what it is. I'm helping you with my academic knowledge and my spiritual knowledge. So it's not going wasted. So using the craft, if you want to make a ritual of it, because for you, it'll make you feel more accomplished because maybe you don't have time to tap into your divine self. 24 seven. So that's why you make a ritual about it. But honestly, you should always be magical. Like your life should be magical every single day. Not just when you need to do a ritual or when the calendar tells you to. Sometimes you just have to vibe. You just have to vibrate to like this energy where you are welcoming of everything. You know what I mean? Like if you welcome positivity, you will live in positivity. If you attract the opposite, that's all you will attract. It just depends on what you want, really. I can go on and 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 on. I am enlightened. Okay. Also, I used to really think about the concept of having a spirit guide and somebody to guide you and really I, I realized in all of this that's your soul guiding you like there's no outside person and if you believe that there's an outside person okay that's great I used to think that too but maybe you're not there yet and you will get there one day I chat with some people and all they say is like thank god every five minutes and it's like it's annoying like it gets to the point where like you know I can't hang out with you <laughs> you know what I mean like god willing we can go on a trip to it's like no there's god willing what you have to will it do you have the ability to do it yeah okay so then why aren't you you're putting your responsibility your life and your power in some unknown hand when in reality you are capable of taking action but you're too scared to take action so you'll meditate on something and you may or may not get the answer and if you do get the answer you still won't act on it because you're waiting for a miracle because you don't want to do it yourself and so i'm telling you here i am erica Hila. i'm empowered and i'm feeling myself i'm feeling my power and i'm in alignment with my purpose and i'm living my best life and i'm magical i am just awakened and more magical like this phoenix burned to the ash and rose back from the ash a whole new me you know for real this is erica healer reminding you to keep it real and to always feel regardless of your path just stay awake and stay true to your heart and stay true to your soul you'll find out you'll figure it out we all do just take your time just love your life stay authentic stay true wake up and find your truth okay because it took me forever and now that i finally figured it out i really hope you do if you have any questions about waking up let me know and i'll make a video about that okay thanks i love you see you soon